what is up guys, and Britannia here, <clears throat> and today uh, I've got a cool special little video for you guys, I'm sorry I'm not wearing my hat today, it's uh, just having a haircut, <laughs> but uh, I've got a another colony now, uh, it is a Laceus Niger, Laceus Niger colony, uh, this colony uh, I haven't, I didn't grow from a, I didn't, it didn't develop from a queen, uh, I don't know if you remember from a few videos ago, uh, I said in my garden there was going to be, uh, they, like, uh, we're getting a, uh, an, it's all being paved over and something's being done to it, I don't know what, but uh, I wanted to check if there are any um, colonies that I could uh, save before the area was kind of destroyed, um, and I found a small Laceus Niger colony with uh, four Nantics. Um, uh, so yeah, I'll just go ahead and show you guys. Uh, I'll just show you one first, actually. So I've got them, uh, they should be nice and calm now. In this little, uh, test tube setup that I've made for them. But, um, try and get it. Focus on them. Yeah, they've got one cocoon. Uh, let me switch around the camera a second, guys, and then I can show you better. So uh, there you go, guys. That's a, a better camera view. Uh, so yeah, the uh, there's four Nantic workers and a queen, and there she hasn't got any eggs or anything. She's got one uh, pupa, and that's it. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to show you guys because this is—I uh, won't be keeping this colony. This is uh, this is for my friend. Uh, when the Laceus Niger fly, and uh, I'll be able to catch a queen for for myself. But this will be this is gonna, this colony is for my friend. I just thought I'd document them a little. Um, because I, I, I don't think I've ever uh, documented a, a Laceus Niger colony before, but uh, yeah, this is a nice little find. Um, so, in a, another video, guys, I'm going to be, because they have a lack of eggs and well, brood basically in the colony, is these Nantics probably the first few workers, the colony won't survive. Uh, very well, uh, because the workers will most likely die, and the queen has a lack of body fat on her. She's really small. Um, she, uh, like originally, when Laceus Niger queen uh, late to fly, they have their double the size of that queen there, um, because they have a lot of body fat. Uh, she hasn't got any, which means she's basically starving herself. Uh, they're, they're all not moving a lot because uh, probably just trying to conserve some energy. So in another video, in a tutorial later on, I'm going to show uh, how to show you guys how uh, to brood boost. Um, but uh, at the moment it's a bit rainy. I can't find any uh, pupa for this colony. But I want to brood boost them, get them back back up and running again get them some food because at the moment they're hardly eating and they're uh, a bit spooked. Oh, uh, workers are quite active now. They're uh, quite... Uh. So yeah, if you, anyone's beginning, if anyone's starting up and keeping, Lacey is not just the way to go or Mesa Barbarous if you want to start up uh, if you want to go outside the Europeans, outside of the UK, if you, Mesa Barbarous is a good place to start. Um, so yeah, if you don't know what a Nantic is, guys, um, a Nantic is the first few workers that a colony has. They're really small. These workers are about uh, a few millimeters long. A few millimeters long. Uh, they should be double that size if. Uh, in a, in a big colony, they are double that size. 
yeah, I just wanted to show you these, this little colony. It may be a little bit blurry, but that's because they are so damn small. Let me uh, see if I can probably see if I can focus in on them. Oh, no, that's just made it worse. Oh, there we go. Yeah, at least it's nice. You're pretty jumpy ants. It's pretty active. But, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this little document of uh, this small ant colony I've, uh, I've got. Uh, so, yeah, guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one.